Hey YouTube, it's Mary once again. Got to get my eyes open. <laughs> I get focused. I don't know. I guess it's my glasses making my that blue light. But um, you know, I was thinking about this college scam that Felicity and this other woman paid to have their children in college, but. You know, we all know that's not the first time that's happened. You know, Donald Trump family probably, and George Bush, his family already all paid for them to get in college. Because, you know, uh, George Bush Jr. and uh, <laughs> Trump, they not the sharpest knives in the, in the drawer. So, they been doing that. But this is what I don't understand. If you have to pay all this money to get your child in college, they must not be smart enough to even pass the entrance. So what makes you think that they're going to get past the first semester? They're going to be making all Ds. They're going to flunk. I don't know. It's like you ought to know that your child is not college material before you try to push him in that direction. Because it's... Um, I forget her name, but then her daughter was into makeup and YouTube channels and stuff. She should have put some money toward that, her modeling career or something. Just, it's not, you're not a failure if you don't go to college. Gee whiz. But I guess it's all about, you know, what, what people, uh, they, uh, what people think of you. Keeping up, uh, putting on the shits and the rich. But I'm glad they they make an example of them because there's too many people who are college material and and don't have the money to go. And they talking about giving black people reparations. That's what they need to do. I mean, down to the generations. Give it give the children free a free college education and they have to maintain a 3.0 GPA or something. Do something. Give black people something back. Because it, it, it's every generation. You think about it. My mother died and my father died. They left us nothing. Their parents died. Left nothing because they had nothing to give. Nothing. No inheritance. We inherited the wind. That's what we did. No 40 acres and a mule. Nothing. So, America does owe the black people. But, oh, I get so disturbed. And, and I, my, my children tell me, Mama, quit, quit doing that. And stop watching so much news. But, in my mind... Things that are on my mind, I'm able to direct my energy toward it. In other words, I can say a prayer for it or send a thought for this to heal it. And people who do have that healing energy, that, that's where they seek. They seek what needs to be healed. But I don't know. Yeah, I do know. I do know. This thing with Trump, all this, all he's doing is um, ethnic cleansing. That's what he's doing. He's doing it in a, no, it's a, he's not even being, um, he's not trying to hide it. Ethnic cleansing. He, do, he wants uh, the white race to exist. And nobody else. I mean, you go back where you come from and don't uh, it wants America to be all white. And the white people, the white race, I ain't saying all of them, but <clears throat> they know that the black man is not a threat because his lifespan is, if he lives to be 40, it's a miracle. And the rest of them are in jail or on drugs or whatever. So, are gay. So, they know they're not going to propagate. You don't have to worry about that. And then the white, the black woman, all you have to do is keep breeding her. Maybe fourth generation or nothing but white. You're going to wash out that black race anyway. That's what white people did to the aborigines. They, you, you can't go to Australia 
and you can barely find a black Australian. They have white whitewashed those people. And they know that they can do it to the uh, Hispanic people very easily. You don't have to wash them, but maybe two generations and you got white. Maybe one. Because there's not that much black in them. But Brazil and uh, countries over in South America used to be a lot of blacks because they brought, I don't know how many thousands of Africans there. And it was too many black people. So they start importing people from Spain to whitewash that Mexico. So they, they didn't want black people around. And Brazil is still a lot of black people. And they've been trying to kill them too. So that, that's what Donald Trump is doing. But this is just a rant video. And uh, um, I... Uh, you know, get so many old crazy phone calls, uh, unlisted, and these people trying to sell senior citizen braces and Medicare fraud. I mean, I can I get about 20 calls a day. And sometimes I'll answer them because I'm waiting on a phone call from a doctor and you just can't tell. So I did answer a few and they sound to be legit. But until they start asking me questions, they'll say, well, we need you to verify your phone number. What is your phone number? Boy, I come unglued. I said, what the hell you mean was my phone number? You called me and you asked for Mary. Now, what number did you dial? Well, ma'am, I need you to verify. I said, no, I ain't verifying shit. You verify who you, now who the hell are you? Well, I'm with so-and-so and so-and-so. I said, well, don't ask me no question because you know what number you dialed. Anyway, I hung up the phone. Two hours later, somebody else from the same company called. It, that really irks me when you, I, it's a different thing if I call you for something. You need to verify who I am. But if you call me, damn it, you ought to know who you looking for and what number you dialed. They're just trying to get your information to do what? I don't know. Maybe you're trying to kill all the old people. <laughs> that's when you get a certain age. That's what you be thinking. Ooh, they're trying to kill us off early so they won't have to pay our, our little Medicare checks. That'd be a lot of money because Medicare is broke. Whether we realize it or not, Medicare has been going broke for, I know, 20 years. So it's no money left in that. But uh, that, that's one of my things that bothers me. And uh, this this girl, what's her name? Mona something. Mona Simone. Uh, she, she must think everybody is stupid. She going to say she took an overdose. She, I think she said 45 uh, heart pills. Now, I take heart pills, and there are a few of them, corrugated and covetalol and all of that. But if you take 45 heart pills, you're not going to go into a coma or nothing. You're going to get sick, and you might vomit. But if you take enough of them to make you flatline two times, your ass is really sick, Mona. And they're going to have to do a lot of tests to see what kind of damage was done to your heart because you overdosed on heart medication. She said that. And then she's going to take the video down. But she just thinks pe think people are stupid. And a lot of these YouTubers tell all these big lies. And, oh, I just, uh, sometimes I have to X out because... They do have followers, and anybody that follow a liar, you know, you stupid if you can't read through the lies they tell him. That that's what bothers me about that woman telling his story. Not no story, that's a lie. <laughs> you know, we come up, you couldn't call, you couldn't say, "Mama, he he lied." Lie was a bad word. You had to say story, but um. That was one of the things I was I was upset, not upset, but on my mind, and I wanted to make a video, but um, we uh, have to be aware 
of what Donald Trump is doing because history does repeat itself. Everything is 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 in a circle. It's circular, uh, circular. And Adolf Hitler did this. And they're doing it all the time. I mean, you think about how they did in Uganda, kill all these people, ethnic cleansing, and races against race. That's exactly what's happening in the United States. It's been going on for a while. And I guess even in the Bible, that happened in the Bible. The Hebrews, they were killing people that wasn't of their race. And that's all it was, was ethnic cleansing. And they say God told them to do this, these holy wars. And I don't know when we're going to stop being so sick and mentally ill when it comes to the things we things we want to do. And we all, we'll blame it on God. But it's funny how we do things when, it's, when, when good things happen to us. And we'll say, ooh, wasn't God good? Ain't God good? And, ooh, he saved me. God is good. But when when it goes the opposite, opposite way, we don't blame it on nobody, do we? We don't say, ooh, the devil made me wreck up my car and God abandoned me. Uh, the de- uh, God let me be sick. I wonder why we don't pull God in when bad things happen. That's weird. That ain't weird. That's just the way we are. My ears, it's this ear. <laughs> okay. If my left ear is itching and burning, somebody is saying something bad about you. And you, if, if they are in your local area, you'll get a phone call or you'll hear from them within the hour. If they're able to call you, if the right ear itches, somebody's saying something good about you. But right now, my left ear is burning. But anyway, that's just old wives' tale. But sometimes it it comes out to be true. They used to say if if you drop a fork, a man is coming to your house. If you drop a spoon, a woman. I forgot what a knife meant. But... Nothing but old wives' tale. But anyway, I ordered me a pizza, and I think I'm going to eat a little more of it. When I eat pizza and Chinese food, that uh, MSG in it, whatever that seasoning, they were put in, and that stuff makes me sleep. I fall asleep so quick. But I'm going to go ahead and eat and probably go back to sleep. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.